may peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and your loved ones in this blessed Sunday. This is Sister Daisy for today's Gospel Power. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum, looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, what sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven. But it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. My dear brothers and sisters, the material bread that Jesus multiplied for the Jewish crowd is not meant to stimulate their appetite for more bread that satisfies only physical hunger. Rather, he intends it to be a sign pointing to that deeper dimension of every person's being where true hunger springs, or what St. Augustine described as the restlessness of the human heart that can find its rest only in God. Since we are destined for eternity, destined to become sharers of God's divine nature, that deep-seated human hunger will find satisfaction only in what is eternal. Only bread that comes down from heaven can transfuse into earthly beings like us the very life of God. And this is what Jesus claims as he uses the divine identification, I am, to present himself as the bread of life. In the Gospel of John, eating signifies believing. To eat Jesus, the bread of life, is to believe in the promise that our hearts hunger for God will be eternally satisfied. And so today let us pray, Lord Jesus, bread of life, as you feed and nourish us with yourself, transform us into your likeness. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the gospel.